welcome to Kingdom Treasures, where we embark on an inspirational journey through the timeless stories of the Bible. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating and mysterious tales from the book of Genesis, the story of Noah's Ark. Specifically, we'll explore why God did not allow certain creatures, known as the Nephilim, to enter Noah's Ark. Have you ever wondered why some beings were excluded from God's plan of salvation during the Great Flood? Join us as we unravel this mystery and discover the profound lessons it holds for us today. The story of Noah's Ark is one of faith, obedience, and divine intervention. It begins with a world engulfed in wickedness and violence, prompting God to cleanse it through a catastrophic flood. The purpose was clear, to eradicate evil and give humanity a fresh start. Noah, a righteous man in a corrupt generation, was chosen by God to build an ark, a colossal vessel designed to save his family and pairs of every animal species. But there were certain beings that God explicitly did not allow on this ark. Who were these beings, and why were they excluded? Let's delve into the background of this divine decision. In Genesis 6-5, we learn that the Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The world was steeped in violence and moral decay, a stark contrast to God's original creation. This particular verse emphasizes the depth of human corruption and the extent to which society had deviated from divine intent. This passage indicates more than just individual wrongdoings. It points to a systemic and pervasive rot that had infiltrated every aspect of human life. The wickedness mentioned here was not isolated incidents, but a continuous and all-encompassing state of being, which had far-reaching consequences, affecting both individuals and communities at large. God's decision to destroy mankind was not taken lightly. It was a response to a world that had strayed far from his intended path. The rampant evil and corruption left him no choice but to intervene decisively. It reflects the gravity of the situation and the sorrow it must have brought to a creator who desired harmony and righteousness among his creation. The notion of destroying humanity can be perceived as an act of both justice and mercy, justice in addressing the undeniable evil, and mercy in halting the propagation of such destructive behavior for future generations. It underscores the principle that unchecked sin leads to dishonor and devastation, which cannot persist if there is to be hope for renewal. Thus, the narrative sets the stage for the Great Flood, a cataclysmic reset intended to purge the world of its rampant corruption and offer a chance for a renewed relationship between God and mankind. This cleanse was seen as an absolute necessity to rid the earth of the violence and depravity that had become prevalent. Amidst this chaos, Noah stood out for his unwavering righteousness and obedience to God. Genesis 7-1 states, The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Noah's faithfulness earned him a unique role in God's plan. The ark was created not only to preserve Noah's family, but also pairs of every animal species. It was a vessel of salvation amidst impending destruction, a symbol of God's mercy and justice. Now let's turn our attention to the enigmatic Nephilim. In Genesis 6-2 we read about the sons of God, who saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. This union resulted in the birth of the Nephilim. The term sons of God is often interpreted as fallen angels, beings who rebelled against God's order. Their offspring, the Nephilim, were extraordinary in many ways, but also deeply troubling. The Nephilim were known for their superhuman abilities and violent nature. They are described in Genesis 6-4 as heroes of old, men of renown. These beings possessed strength and power that set them apart from ordinary humans. However, their remarkable abilities came with a dark side. The Nephilim were notorious for their aggression and corruption, contributing significantly to the moral decay that plagued humanity. Their influence led to widespread moral corruption and violence. They embodied everything that had gone wrong with creation, an aberration that necessitated divine intervention. Their existence was one of the key factors that prompted God to send the flood. In this context of corruption and decay, Noah was chosen for his righteousness, a beacon of hope in a dark world. 
God gave him specific instructions for building an ark that would ensure his family's survival, Genesis 7 1. Noah's obedience was unwavering. He followed God's commands meticulously, demonstrating faith even when faced with an unprecedented task. Building the ark was no small feat. It took 120 years to complete. Interestingly, the Nephilim observed Noah's efforts, but were not invited onto the ark. Despite their power and influence, they were excluded from God's plan for salvation. As the floodwaters began to rise, Noah's family entered the ark. In Genesis 7:16, we read that the Lord shut him in. This act symbolized divine judgment, a point of no return for those outside. God himself closed the door. The floodwaters surged across the earth, destroying all life outside the ark, including the Nephilim. Their superhuman abilities could not save them from divine judgment. Although they perished in the flood, references to the Nephilim appear later in biblical accounts. For instance, in Numbers 13.33, spies sent into the Promised Land reported seeing descendants of these giants. The spy's description highlights how deeply ingrained fear can become when facing overwhelming challenges. Despite witnessing God's miracles firsthand during their exodus from Egypt, Israel still grappled with memories of these ancient giants. God did not allow certain creatures, the Nephilim, on Noah's Ark due to their corrupt nature. Their exclusion underscores how critical righteousness and obedience are within divine plans. Thank you for joining us on this inspirational journey through biblical stories here at Kingdom Treasures. Until next time, remember to stay faithful and stay inspired.